Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on ambient occlusion. Let's get started. There are two ways I use an ambient occlusion map or AO map. I could render out the texture and use it as a multi map and R factor, where it would be, say, T1 multi 2. T1 is your diffuse map or, you know, this blue mailbox. And T2 would be my AO map, which is the multi map. But in this example, I'm going to show you how to render out the AO and use it as an overlay on top of the mailbox's texture in Photoshop. So first, we're going to poly select this. We're going to unwrap it and show you what my unwrap looks like. I flatten it out. And then you want to double check. There's no overlapping polys. We want no overlapping polys because then the shadows would uh, cast over top of each other. So since there's no red, you would have some red here if there was overlapping polys. Let's start setting everything up. First thing, we want to go to Rendering, Environment. Make sure that's black. Black, black, black. We close that. And then we'll go Rendering, Setup. We're in common. We're going to make force two sided. And now let's go to advanced lighting. Now you can see I've already changed the numbers here uh, from default. And that is ray samples to 1000, ray bias to 0.001, and bounces to 2. If your computer is not up to snuff, I would suggest change ray samples to 500. And then if it still takes too long, change bounces to one or zero. Let's close this. Now we're going to add a light source. Go here. It should be standard. And we'll add a skylight. Just 1.0 multiplier. We don't touch anything at the other setting. We're going to add a plane. Let's do 50 by 50. All right, we're going to pull up the material editor. We're going to select the slot, and we're going to change that ball to white. Pull it all the way down, click OK, and then we're going to drop it onto the plane, and we're going to drop it onto the mailbox. All right, we're going to make sure the mailbox is selected. We're going to go up to Rendering, Render to Texture. We're going to bump padding up to 4. We're going to use Existing Channel. Now, Channel here. I only have one option because I plan to use the AO map and overlay it onto the original material. But if you are going to use this, say, as, as a multi map or any other reason, you will map it to a, a, obviously a second channel, third channel, and then you will, it, it should be in this drop down. We'll come down here to add, complete map. You will take your file name and put it wherever you want to save the file. It can be anywhere. We have diffuse color. Since my original image was 1024 by 1024, I'm going to select that. I'm going to make sure render to file only. So let's click render. And you'll see this line coming down. Now don't get freaked out when you're thinking there's no shadow going on. It will show up in the actual texture. So you can close this, but I'm going to let this finish. All right, here it is all done. And then what the final image looks like when you open it up in Photoshop. As you can see the shading around the edges. And then what I've already done is I've gone in I laid the AO over the top, and then I used the blend mode multiply. So if we go normal, there it is over the top, multiply. Uh, if it's really strong, dark, you can always just lower the opacity down some, so it's not as strong. But we're going to keep it at 100% for this example. All right, and when we apply it to the object and render it out you will see this is before with no AO map 
this is just from the lighting inside Max. And now we have a slightly more crisper line here. But inside this area and this bar here, you can definitely tell there's a little more depth and definition. This edge right here, you can see it's a little darker. The handle's definitely darker. Inside of the legs are a little bit darker. Here's a few examples of using the AO map as a texture in R Factor. Uh, this is just a few screenshots of the first time I ever really used it. Left will be T1, uh, the right of the pictures will be T1 mall T2. I felt this was something I was always missing in my models. It brings that extra bit of detail without adding more polys. Uh, just that little bit, little bit of pop that I didn't have before. Uh, there'll be two more examples of where I use it as an overlay. Uh, where I overlay the AO map on top of the textures in Photoshop. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.